Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Master Alley. My name is Kerry. Today we're going to do the open box for new breakers in the market, and also we're going to do compare tests with uh, what we use normally, normally in sight. Um, the one we're doing open box is a Hilti TE800 AVR, a middle size breaker. Why do I call it medium size? Because normally what you use in the market is a five kilogram. Like this, the Makita, five kilogram. We use it on towels walls or ceiling sometimes and uh, sometimes for a little bit of the groundwork for heavy duty groundwork we use this Hitachi uh, uh, Hitachi the 15 kilogram one but sometimes we use this on the wall how we hang it on the wall and then just like bang it to the wall because why because if you use a five kilogram one for construction wall it's like impossible but to lifting this what lifting this one up in the middle is way too heavy therefore no good. We're going to introduce you a medium size breaker, 10 kilogram Hilti TG800 AVR. Let's open it. My favorite color, red. What's inside besides the body? Of course, there's a menu, there's this cleaning cloth, this is lubricant, and for the cable, we have measured it, it's 3.8 meters long. But most important feature is this one. The front handle. Because I've tried to lift it up, it's kind of heavy. And I can't lift it with one hand. So I need both hands to lift it up. So front handle is important. More feature. Right next to the handle, this is the uh, on-off switch button. You press it, it's on, and then press the other side, it's off. It's not what we used to do with our index finger, the squeezing type. So I uh, need time to get used to that. And next to it, is this is the speed button. And right next to the speed button, you can see this too, the indication, the maintenance indication. Once it's on, that means it's time to call Hilti to pick it up and uh, do some maintenance. But we're going to talk about the uh, warranty and maintenance uh, in the next uh, video. So um, enough talking, let's go outside and do some tests. Our first test will be our strength test. So let's do it. We are now ready for the strength test. That's why we are outside the site with all this noise. But before we do the test, to match up with this baby, Hilti also invented a new chisel. This is called the wave chisel. In America and Europe, they call it the vampire chisel. And in Hong Kong, they call it the cobra spear. The vampire chisel has three unique points. It, the wave on the side enhances the breaking power. Second, because it creates a gap, the dust can come out easily, unlike the old chisel, which they are always you can find the dust come out like the fountain. Then the third thing is the old chisel you find always stuck in the in the in the in the, ro in the rock or in the wall. But because of the gap, it doesn't get stuck that easily. But you ask me, uh, is that all? There's one more thing. It's called the self sharpening system. You say, what? How can it be? The theory is very very simple actually. The four leaf have a little bit softer material than the middle. That's why you can see this used one. They can always remain pointy. Enough talking. Let me get one of the seafood and start our strength test. Hola, we are ready for this strength test. We are going to ask this guy to help us with a powerful boss. How are you? Hey, you think this is 都有六寸了,不用我打算了 哇,剛才我看到了,大概打了5分鐘,打幾個打不到下去,被阻了,怎麼又震動了,老細了。
搞掂，宝哥，喂，我讲下三支先啦。呢支力度你觉得点样样咧？我知，有冇力，手都震，打咗好耐喎，见你打咗五分钟就佢唔穿喎。咁啊细支啫，咁啊呢支啊头先好快手搞掂喎。支都都够力，但系重身好鬼重，差好远啊咁讲。咁不如讲下我呢支新炮啊。嗰支嘅，点解咧？轻身又够力，轻身够力。系咯。頭先打咗大概分零鐘咁啊！我一睇翻個計時器啊，但打落去似乎個力度咧，好似好舒服咁樣樣喎，即實驗算係成功嘅。寶哥啊，跟住落嚟做個實驗咧，我哋就試下佢反震力啦。好啊，呢支等你嚟咧。好，好做佢。好啊，跟住我哋落嚟测试咧，就试下呢两支新旧唔同嘅作啦。好啊，首先不如试下你呢支传统嘅先啊。好，啊两个仲咁交俾你啦。好，摆低你戴咗你安全口罩先。宝哥啊，系呢层咧，我见佢集中咗喺呢个位置度喎，呢一支。咁头先第一支嘅时候咧，我见佢咧上面爆得好紧要，所以呢个实验都算成功啊。宝哥啊，跟住我哋做呢个实验咧，好重要嘅就系每部机喷啲层出嚟嗰个效果啦。啊，对住我哋安全嘅着想，我哋用面粉算啦。好，好，好大啊！系，哇，走啊！哇，好高，好夸张啊！哎，试第二次啊！可以拿俾你。哇！顶唔顺啊，宝哥，我哋试埋嗰支啊冇反應喎、啊，寶哥。吹塵方面，吸塵機係唔得嘅。吸塵機唔得，但係完全冇吸塵力嘅喎，呢個。唔掂呢個吸塵機，吸塵機。We're back to the lab. Just now we did four tests. Let's summarize. For the strength, it's really powerful. And、um, for the dust. Let's talk about dust. We used to have a lot of、uh, pneumoconiosis case in Hong Kong. That means people suck in a lot of uh, uh, dust and then accumulate in their lung. They,、uh, that's very bad for their health. So we have to look after themselves. For Makita, just now you can see, because the opening is here, 
the dust come in and blow like everywhere like hurricane and for TE800 AVR it's very smart because the fan is here but the opening is actually here so once you turn on once you put your hand on it the dust, the dust you cannot have direct contact with the opening that would prevent dust flying everywhere there's another thing about the temperature so think about three compartments one here one here and one there think of it like a submarine three concealed compartments have different uh, cooling lubricants that will drop the temperature very efficiently you can see in the videos the temperature between different machines and for vibration um, we have this syndrome Occupa occupational disease is called the uh, arm vibrational syndrome or the um, what we call it the vibrational white finger it causes fatigue frail and pain to your hand so we have to look after ourselves in ourselves but how it works look at this can you see it's very smart I have a very strong spring here so it's soft 40% well from the manufacturer it says it I saw 40% of the vibration but for my experience just now I think it's a lot more than that not only because it absorbs the vibration but then I can um, maneuver the machine very very nicely therefore um, it really helps a lot overall I think the strength is good the dust is uh, remarkable and then also the vibration and the temperature but one more thing is this this is the core of the machine this is like from a normal machine you can see what is what is special about it look look inside from this cut model you can see this red bit here this is epoxy if you ever use a breaker like a long term you use it a lot breaker does break down very easily why because the debris the stone will comes in did it little holes and you break the motor you can't fix it but with the epoxy it avoid the debris and the stone goes in that is very smart so overall I would say I love this machine other than from the strength the dust the vibration but I think it's still too heavy for me to do the ceiling work or tower work but then from my experience I love it but if you want to try please go to the, the showroom yourself and try it out hope you like this video subscribe and give us a like